Moiety or Moiety um, was about uh, trying to get at the corner um, of what's going on in society as we see it today. Um, it was about representing um, two halves of one. Uh, and the word is an old word, and a word that's been kind of forgotten. And it was really beautiful to have an opportunity to uh, stage the meaning of something that has such a resonant uh, history with the idea of conflict. Um, it then became something that we needed to shape into nine songs, ten songs. We tend to work like that, where we try to put a narrative that may not be something that's obvious to the audience, but something that's obvious to us as composers. Um, and we found this cycle called a tighter cycle, which is the nine stages of the sixth to expansion and contraction of democracy and power. And so they move from spiritual faith through to courage, abundance, bondage, dependence, each piece representing that state of mind, finally finishing backwards start of the spiritual faith. So ultimately, Moiti was a journey of um, conflict, I guess. Moiety is our most technologically ambitious project yet. Uh, for this project we've combined projection mapping to projection map uh, specific instruments so that they electronically play themselves. Uh, we have a hybrid kit that we've specifically built for the show. We've actually designed a new instrument which is a glass marimba specifically for the show. All of this is then triggering lighting uh, and has been electronically processed by myself and Peter in the middle of, of the, the piece. And that's what my idea is. We chose drones because drones are an incredibly visceral communication of music and sound. Um, it seemed like the perfect instrument to represent all the states that uh, the mind, the body and the uh, society would go through um, through the journey of finding power, needing power, having power, being trapped with power and losing it all over again. Um, uh, drums seem to have all of those aspects of themselves, particularly when you use pitch percussion. Um, you can bring in melody, you can bring in um, motion and harmony, um, as well as that very much impact driven nature of drums. So it allowed us to put pit two performers against one another in a very direct way. And it allowed us as electronic composers to build sound around the spaces between the impact. And that was really important for us orchestrally that uh, our voice would be heard electronically between the acoustic nature of the two instruments. The word moiety is two equal halves of the same thing. So that's how we designed the show. We had pitch percussion on one side, unpitched on the other side, and the audience surrounding the two percussionists. And the whole show was pretty dark, pretty immersive throughout. Um, we actually had subwoofers coming up through the chair so the audience could feel the piece as it was being performed. Um, all the while uh, projection going in tandem and light going in tandem with the audio. So it's a, an all-encompassing experience for the audience that they feel quite involved throughout. Moid is the second one of our shows that's based upon taking commonly uh, orchestral instruments and putting them in a new electroacoustic context. Evolution was our first show that combined um, a chamber orchestra and a 14 part choir, um, again using the same concept, the same structure, the same positioning with a different narrative. Um, we are all about manipulating and changing the relationship the audience has with these older instruments that have so much life left in them. Um, so, uh, we're hoping for a third iteration and we're moving on to choir um, and we, I, don't think we, we, I don't think we'll ever run out of things to, to orchestrate for. Mm -hmm.